this is Susan with VMworld TV. I'm standing here with Dan Anderson, the mastermind behind the labs here at VMworld. Dan, can you tell me a little bit about how the labs are going this year? Sure, everything is uh, going very smoothly this year. Um, as you can see behind us, we've got uh, lots of people that are actually taking labs and uh, being very productive. Um, this year we actually offer about uh, 30 labs. Um, we have 480 seats and uh, lots of hours to uh, actually take them. Great. You know, I noticed that there's not a ton of equipment laying around. There's a lot more screens. Where's all the where's all the equipment? You know, the infrastructure behind everything. I don't see it this year. Yeah. So um, this year we've actually gone and um, with the mantra that that VMware is actually following in the cloud and, and uh, talking about the public cloud and the private cloud. We're actually running what's known as a hybrid cloud situation. Well, we actually have some gear on site, but we've also offsited a majority of the equipment that we're actually using to to back up the labs or actually. Uh, support the lab space. About how many people do you think we can actually get through these labs in the course of the week here at VMworld? So if we were running at 100% capacity, we have enough We have enough hours, uh, we have enough capacity here to actually support 22,000 hours worth of students um, taking labs. Um, if you wanted to, as a student, take all of the content, we have so much content that you would literally have to be in here for eight hours a day for the following four days in order to actually enjoy all the content that we've actually prepared for, for this year's lab session. Hi Curtis, so um, I understand you're one of the, the core architects and designers for the lab cloud and the user interface here. That's right, yeah. I've heard some pretty exciting stuff about this. Uh, the ability this year to you know, have the attendees come sit down at any station, log in to any lab they want with a really clean, simple interface. Yeah, we started uh, last year with the first uh, iteration at VMworld of, of uh, self-directed um, labs here with uh, our first kind of rudimentary interface, and we've kind of taken it to the next level this year. Uh, we're standing right here in front of a station. I can show you what we've got. Yeah, please do. Um, well, to start off with, um, you'll notice uh, kind of following the cloud theme that we have uh, here at VMworld this year, uh, we've got um, our station and um, you as an attendee would come up and one of our proctors here in the room would unlock it for you to make it available. Uh, we want to make sure that we give everybody a fair chance here at VMworld to take as many labs as they want, but we don't want you to sit here and take three or four while there's other people waiting in line. So we're going to unlock the station. And then we're going to register you into our system. Okay, you'll notice that uh, we just clicked and, and started the lab, and instantaneously we've got a lab available for you to start. Now, that's different from last year. Those that were here will remember that um, it took somewhere between five and seven minutes for us to deploy a lab on demand. We're pre-populating labs this year to make it quicker and the, the experience a lot better. So our lab is available, and now we can very um, simply uh, walk through our lab manual and um, you know read the instructions and then go over here to our RDP screen and, and do the different steps in the lab. Very simple. I've heard that you guys also have some really good um, automation and analytics stuff going on. Sure, we're capturing tons of st statistics and um, would you like to come up to the control center where you can see how we manage and, and monitor what's going on in this room? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Hey Douglas. Um, well, we're up here, and uh, this is this is Claire Roberts, who's the other architect of the Lab Cloud system. Uh, Claire, you want to give us a walkthrough of what you're monitoring here with our setup? Sure, Curtis. Thanks. How are you doing? Hey, doing good. How about you? Great, thanks. So, here's our administrative panels on how we get an overview of the environment and understand what's going on in the Lab Cloud world, right up to the moment. It's all message driven, so things are happening real time as we stand here. You'll see things move around. We've got a couple things on the go here on this particular monitor. We're watching our back end automation, and we're we're keeping track of how busy it is, what's in process, and, and if we've had any problems. Right now, everything's actually looking perfect. Well, hi, Ponder. You just finished a, a lab here at VMRO? Yes. Which lab did you do? The vSphere uh, Sandbox. What was your experience like? Did you uh, find anything new? Was it exciting? Was it hard to learn? No, it was very, very easy to learn and all the documents were very clear and I got very good help from the team also. Hey there, so uh, which lab are you doing? I am doing uh, the VMware View 4.5, the advanced. Okay, great. And uh, what do you think so far? I think this is great. It's a good introduction to the product. You get your hands on it before it's released. You get, a, uh, get familiar with it, you get back, you can use it right away. I really like it a lot. Hi, Bilal and uh, Sasha. Uh, I see you guys just did a lab? Yes, we did. Yeah. Uh, did you do the same lab? No, he, no I think, I, think so, I did yeah. the four, uh, the four dot one features. Okay, and? And I did Cloud Orchestrator. Okay, what'd you think? 
I think it was great. I, we were just talking about it that I think this was one of the highlights for us for today. <laughs> Yeah, I agree, and I think we'll probably spend most of the time in the lab as opposed to attending presentations because it gives us a good hands-on experience.